friends, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted, very much fascinated to have you all tonight with us. Uh, it is so much exciting to see that level of uh, interest to our jazz sessions. When we started, uh, or when we uh, planned to start this whole thing, uh, honestly speaking, we were expecting such a uh, turnout. Uh, as compared to what has been, uh, I think, done by our great ambassador in 19, uh, uh, between 1934 and 1944, Mehmet Minu Ertegün, at a time of uh, severe segregation going on in this town. He, I mean, you may ask, um, what is it to do with the Turks and jazz? I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure many of you, uh, probably when you receive your invitations, you might have thought about it. But there is a lot to do with Turkey and jazz. In 1934, when our ambassador started here as, uh, I mean, running the embassy, we had two sons. One was Nesui Ertegün, the other one was uh, Ahmet Ertegün. And they were teenagers then. They were just hanging uh, on the, uh, uh, out on the streets of uh, Washington, D.C. And they started becoming, uh, of course, uh, uh, familiar with uh, jazz music and they uh, established some friendships with the black jazz community of this uh, wonderful uh, city. However, of course, they had to convince their, their father and their father uh, had, the, in, had enough wisdom uh, and he supported them, and he led them to, I think, perform in many places in this room, I mean this house, in many rooms of this house, uh, jam sessions, one after another. And this place uh, became the center of jazz in this town. In 1934, between 1934 and 1944, uh, before he passed away, unfortunately, our ambassador, and during which time, I mean, you just easily listen to that. It was easy said than done at the time uh, of segregation because he received a sort of a warning from one of the so southern senators one day, a letter. The letter reads as follows. It says, Mr. Ambassador, I see every day, or I pass by your embassy every day, and I see so many black people before your front door. Um, and they are coming in and out. This shouldn't be the case. You know how to treat those people. Is this true what I see, he says. And our ambassador, and I admire him, he was courageous enough, and he was actually, um, very effectively also displaying the, the values that we have in our society. Tolerance, embrace, and wisdom. He responded as such. He says, yes, what you see, Mr. Senator, is entirely true. You see those people before our front door and they're coming in and out because we do host our people. We have the tradition of hosting our people through our front door when they are our friends. However, if one day you choose to come, you're welcome and we will host you through back door. <laughs> So that was not easy. That message was in itself uh, 
amazingly difficult at the time of segregation. Can you imagine? Just put yourself, you know, several uh, several decades ago, it was almost next to impossible. So this is who we are as Turks. So when I came into this town, I did know about this history of this house. So I thought I should revive it. It is somewhat relevant to today's uh, developments as well. Turkey now, every day, every single day, just picking up one person uh, uh, out of a certain complication, be it in Libya, in Iraq, in Iran. So this is who we are. I thought many people could know this uh, true jazz, which is, I think, the, the marvelous medium. Uh, so this was the vision when I came here. As you know, the citizens of this country where big thinking has, has grown up, uh, you need to have a dream and, of course, you need to have a strategy to support it and then you need to work hard to deliver. So that's what we did. First, we approached our dear friends in Boeing. Where are they? Greg Pappen. Uh, and they are, you know, I think the, their team were great. First, it was not easy to convince them, by the way. Uh, uh, but uh, it is over now, and they are uh, strongly behind us, and I, I uh, express my greatest of all appreciations to them. And secondly, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, Lincoln, uh, uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center in New York. Uh, they were, uh, you know, Kat Henry is, uh, is uh, a trusted partner uh, of us in this end of work. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, <clears throat> what makes this, this thing quite special for us is uh, actually uh, the support that we have received from uh, all walks of life, uh, from all uh, 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 people who represent uh, the, the, the community of, of uh, this, this town. So uh, your presence, you know, actually today, uh, makes it quite special for us. Your support and your energy that just resonates uh, 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 on us really makes us uh, more powerful. And I would, uh, uh, for, for you, for you people coming and just honoring us tonight, I would uh, uh, express our greatest of all appreciations. And thank you for that. And by the way, uh, there is uh, uh, another uh, specific recognition here uh, that I should make. Uh, we have Nina Solars uh, among us, a, a very good friend of uh, Turkey. Actually, he is more Turkish than we the Turks are, uh, because she has a house in Turkey, uh, and uh, her great husband, Steve Solars, as you might all know, passed away at uh, great supporter of uh, I mean, it's not easy to put into words how great he was. So uh, let's also pray for, for him. May he rest in peace. And also we have uh, a, a great friend from the Congress, uh, Congressman Delehand. And sir, thank you for coming. We really appreciate that. We are expecting some other members from the Congress, but I think uh, uh, they can join us. Let's start. And after we are over this performance, we have very nice Turkish food here. Don't leave this house. Uh, and uh, I just uh, uh, want to thank you all.